Hi, everyone. It's that time for a free webinar. Look at these beautiful ladies I have on here today. Let's let everyone filter in. Wow, it's a big list. It's just growing and growing. This is so fun. I see some friends in here. Amanda, Brittany's in the mix. You know, every time, girl, it's me who say that to you. <laughs> Brooke, look at, I love our webinars, Jenny, because all these people here are mostly our clients. So it's cool to see all of them come in. I'm worried about one person. Let me see if she got in. Not yet. The Hail and Hush tribe. Look at it. Look at Just that. Hi, Missy. Growing. Oh, I love it. Keep coming. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Teresa. Oh, I got to read all these. You know, I love to see where everybody is. I'm just nosy like this. <laughs> Amanda, Tatiana, trainer's on here. Kelly's on here. Gainer got in. Good. Victoria Wig. Misty. Yeah, Gainer. Last minute, huh? Yeah, you, you know, I'm talking to you, Gainer. <laughs> Good job, Regina. I approved you at the last minute. Oh, from the Bay Area? Darlene's in here. Oh, I love it. Rennell, hi. Oh, me too. Good, Lauren. Good. Okay. Let's see. Nebraska, Missouri. We got everyone. Oh, Amanda, Missouri's in here. Everyone needs their biggest fan. Amanda's mine. So, <laughs> sorry, guys. Utah, look at it. Nationwide. Woo! Wash oh, Burlington, Washington. Kira, we're, we're kind of close. Just a couple hours. Angel's in there. Hi. Florida. New Jersey. New Jersey. That's where Ripping I am. Ripping strips, popping zits. <laughs> Don't you? Oh my God. I love her. She's on TikTok best. and Instagram. She I is love Ryan. that. To the death. best. Huge fan. Kenya's in here from the Bay. Oh, from Lodi. Close Who to is me? that? Is that Megan Hand? Mm-hmm. Megan Hand, I need you. I need you to reach out to me personally. Okay. Darlene made it. Thank you. Look at all of them. This is so fun. <laughs> we just ask all of our 400 friends to attend. Just New a Mexico. small gathering. Look at this. Just a small gathering. No big deal. Someone asked where they signed up from April. Who was that? Darlene, uh, email me and I'll check for you, girl. All I right. can put the I can put the link to register for April um in the chat when we're done too. So you can get all registered for the next one before we hop off. Okay. Megan, I was supposed to see was in, I was in California. I never did. I got didn't see Morgan's parents either. Megan, it's fine. It's great. Next time. Oh, Teresa, shh! You don't talk about that. It's kind of embarrassing. She put. She had to give me a title on here. Okay. We're just gonna get rolling here. It's five after. People are just gonna come in when they can. As you guys know, today it's about social media. Woo! I'm terrible and I'm awful. So I am not gonna be speaking a lot during this webinar. I know everyone's probably, woo! We don't have to hear Shauna for 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna let these beautiful ladies do it. As you know, Morgan is our in-house social media manager. She's amazing. She's planned all these um, cool things for you guys and allows us to have stuff to post that we don't have to create. And then we have my famous friend, Jenny Nagel here from Lip Gloss and Aftershave that I adore greatly. Um, her and Barry do a fabulous job bringing us all the education as far as skincare lines, modalities, supplements, social media. I don't know, Jenny, you do it all, girl. You do it all. Covering all the bases. Now we're talking about hair and scalp. I mean, we are just. I saw that. Yeah. Not, we're not going to go down gonna the go cosmetology. In Vegas. You want to come? Anybody want to come with us? Yes. Sorry, Angel. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. I just invited 400 people. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to let them chat. Uh, here's the thing I get to do today. Hi, Crystal. I get to give away prizes today. So Morgan is now putting your name in a little drawing. Uh, for 
she's doing a different social media class, a longer one to help you guys out in May 1st. So she is going to give away a spot in her class. And maybe because I love prizes, we should give away two. Okay. And Ginny here is going to tell you how to win a few other Hale and Hush prizes as she uh, speaks and gives us all her tips and tricks. So ladies, I'm going to mute myself and try to be quiet in the background. <laughs> and you know that doesn't work, so I'm just lying, but we're going into it. Shauna, we want you to chime in whenever. Yes. Because I have so much to give to social media. You do. <laughs> You're a master. Uh, Morgan knows that's a lie. Yeah. Okay, Tina, pay attention. We got some good stuff. Diana wants freebies. We're all here for the same reasons, right? Education <laughs> and free gifts. Yes. Jenny, my friend, please introduce yourself a little more in detail and give them what they need to know. Um, so it looks like I am familiar with a lot of you that I saw your names pop through, which is so exciting to see because we love Hale and Hush and we've been working with you guys for years. Um, but for those of you who do not know who lip gloss and aftershave is, I am Jenny Nagel and I'm the one half of lip gloss and aftershave. Barry Eichner is the other half. He is the co-founder with me. And we started this platform seven years ago at this point. And it was really born out of necessity because we found that the beauty industry and the skincare industry specifically was going down this road where people were starting to um, endorse products that they really didn't know anything about. And we didn't see anyone in the professional space providing feedback and providing kind of a different perspective on the brand itself, on the company um, and on the treatments and giving you really a bigger picture opinion. So Barry and I kind of just threw it out there and we were like, well, let's see if it works. And seven years later, we are traveling globally and we're working with, I think, 40 sponsors at this point um, to just bring you guys continual education and, and news and reviews and education and everything is free on our platform for any esthetician to access, um, which is phenomenal. And it's something that we have stood behind for seven years that we we want to provide what I wish I had when I was 16 and an esthetician and had nowhere to get free continuing education. So that's who we are. So I'm so happy and thankful to be working with Hale and Hush and so happy that you invited me here today, Shauna. Oh my gosh, you know, I love you. I love it. If you guys, uh, well, Jenny will tell you, but if you're not following lip gloss and aftershave, you are even older than me in old school. Like you, you got to step it up right? You guys will love what they bring to you. They are an awesome resource, Angel. They are one of the best, uh, kind of say the best in the industry Thank um, you. for free education. Yeah. I, I love you guys. And we try to have fun. We try to bring the fun aspect, which is where the social comes in. Um, you know, Barry does all of the writing on the site. So it's still fun writing. It's a fun tone of voice. So it's not boring, starchy um, articles. But then when we go to social, we really bring the fun to that because that's where you can really connect with you guys. You'd be your clients. And for us, it's other estheticians. And so when you just keep it real um, and you don't, you take off that like filter where you have to be perfect and edited. Um, when you take that off, you just connect with your audience a lot more. So hopefully today when we get into it, you guys will kind of see some tips and tricks. And I love the chat and please continue to talk in the chat. Kelly loved your coverage of the show. I oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, if you have a real question, however, please put it in the question and answer and we'll get to those um, at the end of Jenny's presentation and then again at the end of Morgan. So um, real questions, go in the question box. You guys can chit chat all you want in the chat. Um, and there you go. Um, I think Kim said, are you both on Facebook and Instagram? You know, Kim, we really pulled back from Facebook. We just, it's like we weren't growing there and we weren't finding the engagement for us. We didn't have, you know, we had a group, we did have a group at one point actually, um, but it just wasn't our niche and it just wasn't working for us. So instead of investing time and resources into it, we put everything into Instagram and TikTok. So we're on both of those platforms. So do you want me to um, share my screen, Shauna? Yes. Can you do it? it? All right. All right, you guys. So we do a ton of um, 
presentation and education at the IECSC. So someone commented that we did the coverage. So we do, we go to all of these global shows um, and we, we find what's new and what's latest and what's trending and all of that for you guys and bring it to you. But we also create educational content that the IECSC asks us to present. So not only do they hire us to partner and do their coverage for the show, um, but we teach. So this is a portion of what we have taught at IECSC. So you guys are kind of getting a little sneak peek here. So it's kind of cool. Um, because there's questions if social media can really help and is it worth it and is it a waste of my time? Um, just kind of backing up, we are a digital trade journal that covers news, reviews, and education, um, both on the website and on social media. Um, we also travel the world. So we just got back from Paris at the um, IMCAS, which was um, an international medical skincare show in Paris in January. Um, Barry took a side trip to London to meet with some skincare distributors and device manufacturers there. We were at Toronto last year. We're actually going back to Toronto in April for the ESI show. So we do our best to find everything under the globe that you guys don't always have the chance to access um, around the world. So we're kicking it off with giveaway, um, which thank you, Shauna, for doing this. So if you guys scan this QR code right now, um, you will be sent to our opt-in page. So this will put you on our email list so you guys never miss a beat. Um, anyone that signs up within the next 15 minutes on this webisode um, will be entered to win. I think Sean is giving away a couple of prizes. One that's amazing is the trifecta because we are talking about this ER kit in our spring guide right now. Um, and it's what Halen Hush uses to address anything, um, any problems in the treatment room. So it's the quiet wash, it's the um, Hush Hydrate Gel and it's the Relief Bio Powder, correct? Yes, it's the magic trifecta. Um, so, so anyone who signs up, one of those away. Yeah, one of the. And are we? Do you want me to tell all three? Yeah, go ahead. Just okay. Spill it, Jimmy. It's fun. Spill <laughs> it all. So that's number one. Uh, number two, my son Jack has been a Hale and Hush fanatic for the past seven years. Um, so since we've been at his inception, as well as LNA's, uh, we've been using Hale and Hush. Incredible Enzymes is my favorite product to use on him for extractions. So Sean is like, well, what are your favorite products? What are Jack's favorite products? And it's definitely not Incredible Enzymes because he hates extractions, but he <laughs> loves the Refine Polish and the Clear Future Toner. He's got it down. He's got it all setting out on his counter um, and in the shower. So Shauna's also being so generous to give those away as well. So you guys scan the QR code. Um, if for any reason you have issues and you're maybe on your mobile and you can't scan it right now, if you go to our website, there's an opt-in link at the very bottom and you can join that way as well. Jenny, let's give away an apron too. Let's just Ooh, do that. I love that. People like those. So let's oh give away three. Look at Shauna. She's just like doing this is my favorite thing to do, Jenny. I only do these webinars to give away secrets and free things. <laughs> oh, I'm signing up for all of them going forward. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. So that's enough about us. Um, I've had about enough. That's Barry. That's me. That's who we are. You guys will definitely get to know us on social media if you do not already. Um, our personalities definitely come through on the screen. We don't use filters. We don't we don't hide, we keep it real. So let me move this down a little bit so I can read this to you. So we know the power of social media because even the people at Google are telling us that it's true. So people are now looking for sources on TikTok and Instagram. They're looking for information. They're looking for what to do. They're looking for where to go. So for an esthetician, you need to be on these platforms because that's where your consumers are going to find you. Um, you obviously have to have a Google listing at this point, but you need to be on social. So what I will help you guys do today um, is learn how the easiest way to tie all of your things together. So you've hopefully got a website. Maybe it's just one landing page with a booking um, platform connected to it. Maybe you've got a mobile app. Um, that you use to let your clients book and learn more about you. Hopefully some of you are doing some form of email marketing um, just to continue the conversation and stay in front of your clients. So we'll show you how to tie this all together with the power of social media. Listen, we all know Facebook is a pretty trash app, right? 
Facebook app. They call it the Facebook app because when they got Facebook, they got it as an app. And when we first got on Facebook, it was a website. Like that was the main avenue through which we consumed Facebook was like on a computer. So they call it, to them, it's an app the same way to me, TikTok is an app. But Facebook, Facebook's not an app. Okay, if that doesn't make anyone feel old, like that's me right there because it blew my mind. Right, girls? Like I've never... Like that's how I learned Facebook was on my desktop. Um, but we have to step outside of that. My son is 10 and he has been functioning on an iPad for six years. Um, they don't think in terms of desktops. They think in terms of anything that they can hold in their hand. Um, so you guys have to get in their hand. You have to get in the palm of their hand. I know a ton of us on here are younger estheticians, and I love that because this will be very seamless. Um, for anyone who's sort of navigating and like trying to figure it out, I think that this will kind of help you guys get some inspiration. This is okay, but what if I went like this? <laughs> So we like to keep a cohesive message. So let's just say in April, you're going to be talking about sensitive skin. It's Rosacea Awareness Month. Whatever you are talking about, try to have the same messaging across all of your platforms. So if you do have a landing page, maybe you update the header that just says, April is Rosacea Awareness Month. Let me talk to you if you have skin sensitivities. Um, tie that same message into your emails. And then of course you get to have fun on social. But when people, when your clients start to see that you connect the message everywhere, it just becomes a seamless experience and they don't question anything. Um, yeah, we have a lot of fun on <laughs> social. So once again, even if you're talking, let's say you're promoting a treatment, right? You're promoting a very specific treatment. Let's say we're doing hydrodermabrasion in the month of April that's safe for sensitive skin because you're using the, the silicone tip from Dermagem. Maybe that's what you're doing. So you highlight that in front and center on whatever landing page you have. And then in your emails, you have this, you could use the same image. And then when you do your social, you just make it look the same. I don't think you need to curate your feed. I don't think you need to have a color scheme. I don't think you need to overthink things. I used to do it. I am guilty as charged. Um, but I think if you take that pressure off yourself for making your social media feed this beautiful, perfect thing and just get real, you'll start to see the uptick in your engagement because people get to see the real you and you're not spending as much time curating. You're spending more time picking the messages out, seeing what resonates, seeing what works with uh, your audience. All right. So the biggest question is like, is this worth it? You, you know, we post three reels a day, seven days a week. So we post about a hundred reels a month and people are like, is it worth it? But it is, it is. And you, you have to be doing it. You do not have to be doing three reels a day. I, no one is as crazy as we are. Um, but you do, because not only does it keep you front and center, once people start engaging with you, the first couple uh, posts that they see when they open their social media, which would be Instagram in this case, is going to be you. You're going to be within the top feed for them if you stay consistent. Um, Google is also indexing social media. So I'm not an SEO expert. I don't claim to be one, um, but I do know that they are indexing it. So if you start searching things on Google, sometimes social media will appear as your Google search result. Um, and then lead generation, which is like the meat and potatoes of what I'm going to talk to you guys about of how you can build your audience. This just basically re reminds you that you have to, to make video content. You just have to, to be relevant. Um, I know we'll go through some inspirational ideas um, and you don't need to go get all dolled up and pretty and get your hair and makeup done. You just need to be real. So this just goes back to what I said about the feed. A hundred years ago, I was like, well, maybe like a year ago, maybe two. I had to have this feed looking curated every other block was a picture it was like pink for a month and then it was yellow and it was beautiful and i spent more time rearranging tiles in planoly 
then I did really crafting content. And Barry was like, stop, like it's for real yelling. Like you need to let go of that. And I'm like, Ugh. and I did. And it just, it helped us skyrocket. Um, so nothing on this feed matches. Most of it doesn't look pretty. This is a really old screenshot. Um, but, oh, and look, Halen Hush just happens to be on there. Um, this is an old screenshot, but it just goes to show you like nothing has changed. If you look at our feed right now, it looks just as chaotic, if you will. And I'm okay with that. But we still use static images. So I will post like slider posts, I think are still super relevant, especially with before and afters. So if you don't yet have time to sit and make reels, get your before and afters up there. If you're not using a fancy, you know, video app that like does the slide by that shows you the transgression of the um, before and after, just post the before and after so they can slide. I think that that's really important. And I also think um, static images are really important if you're sharing a piece of information, like you guys do it a lot with like webisodes or webinars, you call them. Um, and it's information, it's text. That's all that needs to be on there. Like don't overthink it, but it's definitely not going to get as much engagement as video content. So I think Instagram stories, before I dive into reels and engagement, I think that Instagram stories is a phenomenal place for you to get comfortable with creating social media content. So this, as we know, it can last 24 hours. It can last a lot longer if you choose to make it. Um, but this is a place just to sort of like show the real you, show the behind the scenes, show setting up your room, show when you're unpacking a delivery from Hale and Hush. Um, this is where your clients really get to know you like day in, day out. So when we were just at IECSC last weekend, whenever, <laughs> an eternity ago, um, we took you guys behind the scenes on like the setup day and we showed you guys all in the, um, in the setup and there was boxes and it was horrible. And IECSC was like, we can't ever use this content again. I'm like, of course you can't, but everyone wants to see what goes on behind the scenes. So think of it like that. Think of it as you're like letting them peek behind the curtain. Um, I think that it's really great in stories because you can tap those links. Um, as we all know, you can't tap anything in the, com in the comments. So this is your place to do it. Um, you guys, of course, know that you've got to put captions on videos. You just have to. And this is coming from a mom that's either watching her phone, scrolling her phone while someone is asleep next to her, whether it's a husband or a son or a daughter or whatever, and they can't have the volume up, or I'm on my phone at 4 a.m. because I can't sleep because I'm thinking about my business and I also can't turn the volume up. So if you don't have captions, I'm not watching your story because I can't hear it. Um, so it takes two seconds to add it. I highly recommend doing it. And then the quality content that you want to save, I, I don't save daily, you know, ins and outs, but if you guys want to create lookbooks and before and afters, and you could break it down by entire skincare lines, you could break it down by Hail and Hush and the devices you use, and maybe one category is acne treatments, um, but do that. And then you can send your clients links to these highlights. If someone's like, hey, tell me more about the acne treatment that you're promoting in April. You could, if you had the acne reel set or um, highlight set up, you could just link them right to that reel where they could look at before and afters. Hi, heels on. Do we have any questions? I feel like I'm talking really fast. Sean, I can't hear you. Okay. Um, Ginger, did you get your chat working? I, I don't know. Her chat's not working. Will this be sent to us to watch again? It'll be sent to those who have attended. Yes. And may I get the code? They're asking for the code for the apron. It's the same code that she posted for lip gloss and that Morgan just put in the chat. Okay, we're going to get away three things on, on Ginny's little thing. Amanda has a question. Is it important to post the same time every day? What is a realistic amount of posts for a solely SD? Solo SD, sorry. So my thoughts on that, there's there's two parts to this question. It's the timing and the quantity. So quantity is whatever you can commit to being consistent. So if that means Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 
you commit to Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Mm -hmm. If that means you want to take the weekends off because you absolutely deserve it, you want Sunday, Monday off, you do that. Um, but pick something that you can commit to. So if it's only twice a week, do it, but do it. <laughs> okay. And then timing. It's funny that, that you say this because the only reason I have a schedule, which is seven around noon and then at night is because it works for me. And to me, if you're in my tribe, it probably works for you as well. So think about it. If you, if your clients are 45 year old moms of, you know, school age children, they're most likely in the middle of the day, they're probably at work, but maybe at three o'clock they're in the pickup line and like they're scrolling social media. So maybe three o'clock works for you. Um, when we post in the morning, it's typically 7 a.m. And for me, that means like people are waking up. Like, I don't know about you and it's probably the worst habit ever, but when I wake up, Instagram is one of the first places I go. Um, so that's why I love a morning post for us. We're nationwide. We're global. So like, it's a little trickier of a question because when I post at 7am on the East coast, it's four o'clock on the West coast. Um, but that could work because then when those West coast people open their phone, I could still be the first one. Um, but I also don't think you should be a slave to social media. I, I absolutely don't think that I think as estheticians, our physical touch and our presence is where the energy should go. Um, so I think that you create the content and you post when you can consistently, no matter what time. Sydney, they're also asking about how to, I mean, these are very technical questions on how to use Instagram. And I think this is probably better uh, for Morgan's class that she's going to break down the simple basics for you. They're asking if there's a way to schedule on Instagram and how do we do Instagram highlights. Um, those are very specific into the app. Correct, Morgan? Do you want to answer yeah. those questions? Because So I replied to the question about scheduling. <clears throat> there's scheduling apps I personally use later. There's also Planoly. Meta has a built-in um, social media manager. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's just Meta Business Manager or something. Thing. I'll have to check what it's called. But anyway, you can schedule through all those for auto posting. Um, you can also schedule inside of Instagram. It'll automatically post your reels and stuff. Um, and in my class, I'm going to go through all of that because planning and scheduling ahead saves so much time. So I'll actually share my screen and walk you through that. Um, same with the Instagram highlights. When you go on your profile, there's a little circle with the plus sign, like a little row underneath your bio. You would just press that, pick what stories you want to add. You can name it, do all that stuff. Um, so yeah, all the technical things I'll be doing in my class, including like a walkthrough of Canva to actually make the content. Um, business suite, thank you, Abby, that's what it is. Um, so yeah, that's I'll break down the technical stuff um, on May 1st for sure. That's amazing, Morgan. That's like, you guys, that's what, those classes are so valuable. Even if you already know how to use one of those platforms, tap into that because that's going to help you learn tips and tricks that you probably didn't even think about. Oh my God, yeah. that's amazing. Yes. And so I think Rita's question, where do we get the, <clears throat> excuse me, the dates like acne month? I think she's referring to the highlight. So Rita, what Morgan just said about the little plus symbol down on the, the bar, those are where those highlights go to where you would put your own highlights in there. I think right. she's asking how to find out what month those are. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Rita, clarify if I'm wrong. Maybe you're asking both, but if you're asking how to find out what month themes are, um, I honestly just Google and I type in March annual days, oh, national it. days. So like when you look I'm up- I'm sorry, March, Rita. Acne month is June. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, acne month is June. Um, like if you look up, there's um, National Vitamin C Day in April. There's um, March is Nutrition Month. Just Google and look up National Days, and then I like to fact check and re Google that because some people like to make up fake days and fake months. So just yeah, double check, do. but just Google, and they'll a bunch of stuff will pop up. Oh, thank you. So sorry. Um. Don't you think that by curating branded social media content, you'd be able to attract your target audiences or your target clients? Yeah, your vibe becomes your tribe. We say that all the time. If you don't like witty, sometimes sarcastic content, if you 
um, it, it, you're you're gonna lure in, for lack of a better word, who will vibe with you. Like every brand that we work with at this point on lip gloss and aftershave, we just love. We love the founder. We love the CEO. We love the sales reps. Like we vibe with them because they know that the content that we produce is like on their level. And maybe, listen, like I don't expect Hale and Hush to always repost the content that I make because it may not fit who they're talking to. Um, but whatever like energy you put out is the client you're going to start to attract a hundred percent. Yes. I don't Thank mean to you. plug myself again, but I'm also going over that in May. We're going okay. over finding your brand creating your look without obsessing like jenny was saying obsessing over every single square on your feed you can find the balance between having your brand your go-to colors your go-to vibe without stressing over like oh there's two pink posts next to each other there's a balance so <laughs> totally guilty of that in the past in my past life i would have like lost it but you guys if you're filming something in your treatment room, it pretty much always looks the same. So yep. your branding is always going to be on. Whenever we do webinars, I'm literally in a black shirt to take away all of the thought and over an analysis that will go into what I'm wearing that day. Um, it just, <laughs> so if you know you're going to like film a couple reels one day, like put it on something black and like call it a day. Let me yeah. do this. Right? <laughs> yes. I think That's we all so funny. the same thing today. <laughs> and I see a lot of people too. And I don't know if you knew this, Jenny, but Morgan used to do my social media because that's how bad I was at it. I paid somebody. She was my first client. Um, and you could definitely tell a difference in my feed. Those who are snooping me on Awakened Day Spa, you can tell where Morgan took, took over. Um, <laughs> but also don't try to brand yourself as something that you're not. I, I think that I see that a lot. If you are not a if you're not a high class, fancy spa that you, if it's not you, don't do that. If you were just like where I worked in California, I was a hometown girl. I, you know, I live with the farmers and those are, were my clients, right? So make sure you are attracting your tribe because if you don't attract your tribe, they're not going to jive with you. Yep. And so and they won't then you're going to have problem, problems with client loyalty. So, exactly. you know, be, be who you are. And who was on that? Who did you? It was Stephanie. Yeah. Be you, girl, because you're cool. Yeah. A hundred percent. And don't, and when you make mistakes and you trip up and there's a blooper in your reel or whatever, here's a funny story. And the, I don't think the real example is in here, but I was filming Jack. My son was actually getting a facial and live thing. And I had the camera set up because I I'm always recording because in my world, everything is content and I never know when I'll be able to use something. So I set up the tripod. I'm just recording the facial. I'm not even thinking about looking perfect. He's on my treatment table doing the thing. I look at the content after and the sheet was all rumpled and it was uneven and the blanket, the Hale and Hush blanket wasn't draped very nicely. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to use this. And one day I got des I, like, desperate for content. Like I had to get something up and I needed it. So I pulled that video up and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to post it. I don't really care. And guess what? It performed so well not only because it was just fun behind the scenes looking content, but it wasn't perfect. And when you trip up or you stumble or you stutter, it does not matter because your clients are used to you and they're used to your personality. And like, they expect you to be a human and it'll resonate. I guarantee it. Yeah. And Great. I, I know people on here have seen my face and my videos everywhere. everywhere. And in my last monthly one, I actually said bunnies are hopping. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> you know, it's it's okay. Because if you know what I know, I would say something that ridiculous. So um, just be yourself. Look, Amanda, she is my biggest fan. Yeah. She loved it. Bunnies are hopping. I can't yeah, even you, believe I see it. You messed up your missed me. And we just went, uh, take two. And it ended up being the funniest edit ever. <laughs> That's why you attract your tribe. I'm telling you, people that can like get, they get you and get it. And I guarantee 99% of people are not judging you. Like they're just not. So no, I know. And I judge myself. I'm like, did I say that? Oh God. Way harder. We're way harder on ourselves. Nobody really cares about us as much as we care about ourselves. Let's no. just. No, no. 
I hope they just like spun it through, right? Right. <laughs> um, Gainer asks, is it true only three to four percent of your followers will see your content? Is that true? Hello, Instagram algorithm. I mean, Morgan, you can chime in on this too. Uh -huh. I think there's so many myths and rumors and you should only post these many hashtags and you guys can see how that changes all the time. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if that's true. I mean, we get some reels that have 20, the one we just posted, um, last night or this morning, I think it was 20,000, um, views. And then there's a couple before that that have like 2000. Right. So it's like, it just depends on the content and you can't stop pushing it out just because you have one that's lower than others. Um, you're going to have good days and bad. And if you don't think your clients are seeing your content, then share it to stories or start to tag a couple of them, um, in the content that would be relevant to them, like mention them in the caption, maybe, um, to sort of draw them back in. And that's a great way. Like we always, of course, tag brands, um, but if there's an esthetician that we're highlighting in some of our content, of course I'm tagging her. So she sees it and then she's going to share it. Mm -hmm. um, so don't be afraid to tag people. Yeah. And the next but question is so dang funny. I can't even control it. Um, my, <laughs> friend Kim, my friend Kim on here asked, are people in their 40s through 60s actually on TikTok? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of it's them. It's just you and I, Kim. We're not, but everyone else is apparently. There's a... Okay a much older demographic than you guys think. Right, Morgan? Are you on the yes. same page? My dad, okay. my parents, once they learned how to use social, and they're not even old. My parents are like 50. Once they learned how to use social media, I wake up to like 17 reels from my mom and my Instagram DM. We send TikTok links back and forth. My sister's like, it's a whole, and like family Christmas. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, did you see that TikTok? And we're all quoting TikTok songs. Yes. You'd be surprised. Even TikTok sounds. Yeah. Yep. And you would be my head. <laughs> yeah. Don't dismiss it. You guys do not dismiss it. It's my um, 70 year old grandmother and grandfather are obsessed with TikTok. It's true. There you go. It's not a teeny uh, bopper app. It's no. not. Okay. I'm mean, the other questions are general. I'll get to you guys. I want Jenny to finish her, finish her presentation because we only have 20 minutes and oh poor Morgan has not talked. So. Okay. I'm going to speed through it. Um, this is, I think the rest of this is just a few examples of showing you guys how to um, boost your engagement. My tippies. Okay, so he literally like did nothing in the reel. He didn't talk. He didn't say it. He just motioned. And we told people to drop a specific word in the comments. So, well, this is a different example. Oh, no, it's not. That is the actual caption. So when they dropped that word that we told them to drop on the screen, we had 255 people or maybe half that because then we commented back onto every single person that commented. And we said, hey, we sent you a DM. And we went in and we sent every single person that commented with that word a DM to go where we wanted them to go. So if you want them to book your special acne treatment in the month of June, because June is acne awareness month. You're going to say, drop the word June and I'm going to, cause you can't give them a link. And so that's how you're going to do it. You're going to do it in the DMS. So this, again, you have to treat social media as a lead generating tool and you have to treat everyone that engages with you as a lead that as a client that is potential. So if I were an esthetician, all 247 of those people that liked my reel, I would go on there and I would be tap tapping away and I would be engaging on their social media site. And a lot of them are going to be private because they're personal accounts. Um, but try to engage with as many people as you can. And if they comment, that gives you access to their DMs. So it's like a, a little open thing, even if they have a private um, account. So again, just talking about putting tons of details in the caption. I'm a huge fan of that because it gets them to open your caption, which is engagement, and stay on your post, which is engagement, um, and provide a ton of information. But just make it readable, right? Like space it, make it look nice. Don't just word vomit all in one blurb. All right. So then four ways to maximize each post. This is one of my favorites. Oh, the sound got stripped on this one. I forgot. This is Tatiana, who's in the audience. This reel blew up. Um, I'm pretty sure it blew up her Instagram too, because it did so well. People started following her. 
Um, but create intrigue. So give a cool little tour like that of your space. Um, you guys can see this on our Instagram page if you want to rewatch it, but create the intrigue, like sneak them open in the door and like take them on a tour. Um, but that did really well. So this reel, I just did a duet with a facial massage video and it's responsive because a few posts prior to this, I posted something talking about facial massage and the comments blew up about estheticians wanting more education. And so respond to what your clients are engaging with. If they're engaging on pictures of you popping pimples, let's start talking about congestion and let's start talking about acne and how to prevent it. Um, but be responsive and pay attention to what they wanna talk about and then create content from that. So don't think you can over plan your content because you have to remain a little bit fluid to be responsive. I'm not telling you not to get this, but before you do, hear me out. Think about getting this instead. So the quick story behind this, creating controversy. Nobody likes like a Debbie Downer in your comments. And if someone like says something negative or rebuts what you're saying, the first instinct is to just delete it. Um, but on the flip side, you can actually ask them more questions, ask them to elaborate on why they disagree with you. Because what's gonna happen is she's gonna wanna give her opinion even more and that's gonna build engagement in the caption and that's gonna get people chiming in from left to right and giving all of their opinions. This like blew up with comments of people arguing back, basically. And we just smiled. A new client booking with me. She had never had eyelash extensions before in her life. When she showed up, upon closer inspection, I noticed a lot of her natural lashes were cut and blunt. I asked her why this might be. She told me that she uses lash curlers daily. Clamping eyelash curlers can be extremely damaging after prolonged use. Never use them after mascara either. I had a new client. So, point behind that one, you'll find a really cool video of something like that that obviously captures your attention. You can duet it. And I didn't even say anything. I just showed the product in the screen and it busted the myth as to why the way you do it as the professional, as the esthetician can um, turn that myth around. Okay, so that was super fast. So I hope you guys got um, got enough out of those examples, but I wanted to save enough space for Morgan. <laughs> okay. Hey. That we have the same questions, Morgan. So I think you're going to touch upon those. So yep. there you go, sis. Okay, <laughs> I will speed through this. I am a quick talker. So let's see. Jenny, those tips were great. I love when you do those reels, like don't do this, do this. I love it's, that. Well, it's like keeps it straightforward for your client, right? Like they just need yeah. the basics. We get so involved and invested in explaining things, um, but keeping it straight. Oh, gotta figure out how to share my screen. I'm a newbie here, apparently. There you go. All right. You just make it full screen and you're great. Huh. It says present full screen right there. Oh, see the it would help if I hit present, wouldn't it? <laughs> the details. Okay, I can't see chat anymore. So if you have questions, okay, put them I got in the Q and A. Um, okay, so about me, um, in case you're like, who the heck is this chick? I am the social media and marketing manager for Hale and Hush. Um, and before that, I was a lash artist for five years. So I'm actually a licensed esthetician in California. I went to um, Paul Mitchell with Shauna. I was the class ahead of her. Um, and yeah, so I did lashes for five years. I worked at multiple spas and at every spa I ran their social media. Um, and then I opened up my own lash studio and I was fully booked. I was one of the most booked and highest priced lash artists in my area, all just through organic social media, no paid ads. I hated business cards. I didn't go to meetings and events and show like all social media for Time me. Out. What? Time out. I know you're the social media guru, but you're uh, were fit. You were also famous due to your impeccable skills and your beautiful artistry. 
continue. <laughs> Sean is convinced I'm like the best lash artist in the world. It's not true. Don't let her convince you. Um, anywho, so all through social media, I got booked out. And actually during COVID, when I was shut down, I started an online course and I sold $15,000 in enrollment just from organic posting on my Instagram. So that's how I went from doing lashes to somehow running social media accounts. Um, so today I just want to talk to you guys about your target audience. So a lot of what Jenny said actually ties into this perfectly. Um, so your target audience is also called your ideal clients, target clients, dream clients, target audience. There's a million things that you can call it. Um, but essentially it's who you're talking to. This is when you are making content, this is who it's meant for. Um, so you need it because if you're talking to everybody, you are talking to nobody. Think of it. This is my favorite example to give. Okay. Gucci has a target audience, right? And ain't me. I'm not going to buy Gucci. You know who I like? Old Navy. I'm a sales kind of gal. I'm a simple clothing kind of gal. So if Gucci was trying to talk to me, they would not get my money and it would be a waste of their time. They know their target audience and they speak directly to their target audience. So this is how you decide what you should post, what they would like to see, and it prevents you from talking to the wrong people who won't really help you grow your business. So I believe that your target audience should be related to your niche. It should be who you want more of in your business. So for example, if you like treating acne, your target audience would be those struggling with acne. That's the kind of content you would post to get them to come in because that's what you like treating, right? And you can get really specific with this or keep it nice in general. So you can leave it at acne or you can get deeper and say, you know, I really want to treat women with adult or hormonal acne because those are two different things, right? Treating a teen with acne is very different than someone with older hormonal acne, but I don't touch faces, so I could be incorrect, but just take the, <laughs> the general example here. Um, so I'm going to give you two examples of a target like an ideal client, right? Um, for me, it helps to give them a face and a name because when I'm posting, I'm pretending that I'm talking to them. So for example, let's say your target audience is Gabby here. She's 25 to 35. She's my age group. I'm 26. And she's interested in skin maintenance, age prevention, and a new home care routine. But the thing with Gabby is she likes all the trendy stuff that you see on TikTok, right? She likes all the latest services, the latest devices. She likes to keep up on the trends. So when she's looking for an esthetician on social media, she wants to see that they have personality on there. They like to know that they're using the latest and greatest products. They like to see that it's a trendy, up-to-date, modern social media, right? And she also tends to trust influencers and friends when deciding what to buy. So this matters because that is how you know how to present products. You are going to show other people using the products on your social media page. That's the same age as her, right? And she's gonna help you get clients in your business because she's gonna share your stuff. If you make shareable content, she'll share it on her stories. Now, on the other hand, we have Miss Debbie here with her cute little Bob, and she is 60 to 75 year old age range, right? And her reason for getting facials is relaxation and also anti-aging. So her kind of stuff is she likes simple services, simple home care routines. So you keep your social media nice and simple. She tends to be on Facebook. She likes business cards. She likes daytime appointments. Why does any of that matter? Because you can hop on your story and you can say, hey, I have a 9 a.m. appointment. Come kick your day off with me. Well, someone in a different target audience that's working during the day, they wouldn't like that, right? But for Debbie, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go. Okay, that's, that's what's going to get Debbie. Um, for her, it is helpful to have business cards and get her to help you with word of mouth. And on her social media, she likes to see your personality and your storytelling because she wants to know that you have good energy and you're going to help her relax during the day. So why the heck do you need to know about Gabby and Debbie and two random people that I made up, right? Because those were not real people. Because when you're posting, that is who you're speaking to. So it sounds really complicated. I broke it down real deep. But the simple fact is, when you're posting, you're going to think of them. 
if you are trying to get more people in like Gabby, you're not going to be posting content that appeals to other estheticians, for example, that aren't going to come into your business. You're not going to be using all this really technical jargon in your comments. You're going to be speaking to them how they want to be spoken to. Now, when you're niching down and thinking of your target audience, it's okay to still post casual and personality on your page. Like on my page, my stories, it's filled with me doing press on nails and DIY lashes. Does that have anything to do with websites and social media? No, but I've already hooked in my audience. I already have my community and now I'm connecting with them. So don't feel like you only have to think of Debbie when you're posting. You should still put yourself on there. Um, but when it comes to content that you're like, wow, I really would like to book an appointment this week, kind of be salesy, that's when you just get more strategic and think of your, your little Debbie in the back of your mind. Um, now, these are some general tips. We want our audience filled with Gabby's and Debbie's, okay? We want people who are going to pay our bills. Because if you're not in business to make money, this is a hobby, and then these go out the window, right? But if you want to make money, it's your followers need to be people who will give you money. So what I do not want you guys to do is go into other esthetician groups and do the follow for follows, okay? Do the, oh, I'll follow you if you follow me back, okay? I know it's fun to have community, but that's where you engage with them in those Facebook groups. You don't go get them to comment on your stuff on Instagram. We want our content to be pushed to the people who actually need it, right? And you don't have to follow back every single person who follows you, you know? You can still target your social media to the people who will come lay in your bed and get a facial. Um, and another thing is, if you are struggling with getting clients in, I don't want you to only rely on discounts, okay? I don't want it to be constantly running specials because you'll attract clients who are cheap and deal-seeking, okay? Discounts and sales have a place, don't get me wrong. Um, but if you really get down to the strategy of who you're talking to and what you're posting, eventually you won't even need to do that and your clients will actually want to pay top dollar to see you if you are attracting the right kind of people. So, like I said, your goal is to attract people who can actually come in and see you. And not every follower will convert into a paying client. But if you're posting towards people who don't want your services at all, you are already setting yourself up for failure. You don't stand a chance. Okay, so if you're posting to people who actually want to come in, you have a higher chance of them actually coming in. Versus if you're posting to me and you're over and you know what, I'm 26. If you're posting to me about anti-aging and post-menopausal skin, you're not going to get me, right? Because that's not my life. So just, you got to make sure you're posting to people that you want and can actually come in. So surprise, I put surprise because I thought I was talking first. <laughs> We're doing a new class in May. Um, and this one is your basic intro to Instagram. This is your foundations. This is setting up your bio, your hashtags, how to do stories, how to do story highlights, how to make reels. This is getting back to the foundation. So everyone who said like, I'm so confused about sliders and stories and reels, this is where we are starting. And we are going to set the foundation for your social media. You'll walk away with a content calendar that'll let you schedule and plan your next 30 days of content. And I'm not saying posting every day for 30 days. We'll find what works for you. So That'll be on May 1st. You can enroll now. Um, and I'm actually giving away a little incentive. The first 15 people who join this class, um, we will have a group Zoom in June where you can ask me questions. We'll go over content. It'll be like an hour or two, 15 of us all talking, asking questions and doing a little bit more of a deep dive together. Um, so Hold on, Morgan. there's tons of questions. Okay. Yes, we're going to do another one of these before the end of the year. Yes. And yes, it will be recorded if yes. you want the recording. There are, we just launched it. There's three people signed up right now. So there's 12 more spots for Morgan's free um, one on one, well, not one on 15 <laughs> um, discussion. So do it now. Call the office immediately. Let me put the number in there. You have to call to register. Or you can email office manager at halenhush.com. No, no. Oh, just kidding. Listen to Shauna. Don't listen to Morgan. Yeah. Just call the office. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it, it's, uh, it's, it's easier to do it this way. Trust me. Okay. 
All right. Um, and then I'm going to do a couple more slides real quick um, about how Hale and Hush supports you on social Hold media. On. I can't help myself. I want you guys to know that we already know Morgan started my social media where it mattered. Now, in my career, I haven't, you know, I had two businesses and she kept screaming at me. Um, Who are you talking to? Because I was trying to talk to estheticians. I was trying to talk to my clients. I was trying to put sales on. I was talking to Chris Campbell, trying to get my job permanent. I was talking to the neighbor. I was talking to my bird. No, you, Morgan yelled at me so many times. So when my career changed from full-time in the treatment room esthetician to educator, my audience changed. So my clients that are still on my old, obviously my social media account, now it's focused towards education and what I do here. Um, they still snoop me, but I'm not getting texts for appointments anymore. Right. So even from strangers, I used to get them all the time. So it really matters. Don't try to impress estheticians if you need clientele. Right. Don't try to, you know, get the neighbor hooked in. And by the way, Morgan posts about her dog a lot too. Don't try to get dog owners in if you're trying to get social media accounts. Right. Yeah. That's what she's saying about know your audience and who you're talking to. Um, so I, I follow people who post their dogs. That's a winner for me I right there. <laughs> I do, but, um, just your posts, your reels, your stories, your content, like both of these ladies, highly intelligent in this area. Um, always, they both said, know your audience. So I think that's a really good place to start and to evaluate how you're speaking, who you're speaking, when you're speaking. Right. Jenny brought up the mom thing and all you guys in the chat said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you talking to moms? Yes. You know, is that your target? Yes. M Morgan broke it down in different age ranges. Um, for me in my treatment room, it was sensitive skin, but I also right. was an acne expert. So we went back and forth. You can target different types of services, but make sure you're just talking to your clients. Right. I, I think that's the most important thing. Right. It can stay very general. It can be, you know, I just want clients in my area that want X, Y, Z treatment. It doesn't have to get specific, but it does. It can help if that's how you do want to get specific. So yeah, as long as you're talking to clients and not, you know, companies. Okay. We have a lot of questions, but I want to give away the prizes because they have to be present to win. And technically, okay. we only have three more minutes. We'll probably go a little bit over okay. answering the questions. Okay. But Jenny, who wants to go? Who wants to give it away first? Jenny or Morgan? Go, Morgan, go. Okay. Yes. How many am I giving away, Shauna? Two, two. Okay. So all your names are in a little spinner. It spins for a very long I'm time. I'm going to pay attention this time. Isabel Phillips, you get to take my class in May if you're available. Look, she even has like cheering. Yeah, I know. I, I love this, this app you have. Okay, and I'm so sorry if I say this wrong. Is it Dora Nelly? You get to take it in May as well. Okay. Now you guys have got to email me to get that prize. Yep. One person did not email me last time and forfeited the prize. Missing out. There's my email. So Isabel, Dora, make sure you email me that you won the class. And hey, I've made notes this time. Good job. Last time we forgot I didn't make notes. All right, Jenny. Okay, so days. I Let's do it. Do I tapped right into I did what you say? What do you want to do first? I think the trifecta needs to go. The ER kit. Do it. That is a huge focus. So Janice Brown Brownell, Janice Brownell, you are the winner of Janice, that. Janice, are you still here? Yes. If she's here, she won the trifecta. Oh, look! Look you at have Zoom. To email me to get the prize with your. Oh, what did you just do? I have no idea. Wait, how'd you do that? 
You guys, this has happened to me a couple of times and I have no idea. It's like some it's magical like powers. Okay, so Janice. Oh, she's there. She's here. Yeah. Congratulations, Janice. Janice. She emailed me right this second. You won the trifecta. And I'm Hannah gonna... Gleason is number two. Hannah, you are the winner of Jack's Favorites. Jack's Favorites? Jack's Favorites. He's going to just die when he and hears. And Jack's Favorites are refined polish and clear future toner. It's awesome for tween skin, you guys. I know that's a massive topic on social media, speaking of. Um, so think about that. When you're targeting your moms that have children in that age range, these are products you can get them on instead of the other brands. And finally, we have Lauren Emezqua. I hope I'm saying that right. Lauren, I'm sorry if I butchered your last name, but you are the winner of the apron. Am I correct? Yes. Are you on here, Lauren? The other ones are all here. Let's see if Lauren shines. She's here. Okay, we got Ooh, our winner. Love it. All Did right. You around? Do you guys have a few minutes to do some questions? Mm -hmm. I do. All righty. Um, let me go ahead and show the slides about how we help them on social media, if that's okay, real quick. Oh, I'm sorry, Morgan. Do you want to do that? I was yeah, just going to wait for the quick. end. Super quick. Super quick. Just couple minutes because then I can get my um, Canva out of here. Let me get back to the end. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So on social media, Hale and Hush has a pro Facebook group. You can connect with other professionals and we have files in there of our documents, our protocols, um, costs per treatment, all kinds of stuff. Um, and a lot of other pros give their tips and tricks and before and afters. So that is the Hale and Hush Pros Facebook group. Um, on Instagram, you can reshare any of the content that is already on our feed. As long as you don't take out our logo, our logo has to stay on there. Um, but that's really an easy way to get more informative posts to your clients without having to do the work. Any of our content that's up, it's fair game to post on your own. Um, we also keep you up to date on the latest webinars. Um, you'll see on there, for example, I posted that March was nutrition month. So you could take that information from there as well. Um, and we really like to engage and repost with you guys on stories. Um, and we also have a YouTube and the Airtable is our monthly facial program. So the YouTube has free educational videos and um, we even have like a back treatment demo on there from Shauna. And the monthly facial program gives you a monthly facial protocol. And we also give you two posts, a photo and a reel and a flyer to print out. So you get a facial and all your marketing stuff already ready to go for you. Um, so those are really great resources. Uh, the Instagram and, or sorry, the YouTube and the Facebook group are linked in our Instagram um, bio. For the monthly facial program, you'll email marketing at hailandhush.com. Um, and then our That's program. It. What? Didn't you say all this? I don't know. I think I did. I think you did, sis. Well, we also have quarterly content. I'm getting quote oh, shoes ready Did you, for you stick Easter in there? I need to do it right now. Okay. I need to I need to email it to you to add it. Um, we have quarterly content they have to do with, for example, we put St. Patrick's Day in there. Valentine's Day was in there. I'm getting Mother's Day in there. Um, it's ready to go posts and photos for you. We have monthly blog articles and we have a new scholarship and school program. So email Shauna, marketing at hillandhush.com to join any of these and get more information. Awesome. And that's that. Okay. Some of the questions we answered, ladies, but some is still here. To have a successful Instagram, is it necessary to be in your own videos? I hate being on camera. Get over it. That I I'm like the <laughs> bluntest when it comes to that. And Barry would be like, oh my God, did she just say that? Because that he literally had to like kick me in the butt and be like, you need to suck it up. Stop caring about what everyone else thinks about you because you are you and your clients love you. Just like 
I, I, you guys, you have to, you're the face. You are, you are the reason your brand exists. So maybe it's not every video and maybe you do some voiceovers to get comfortable. Um, I love a voiceover. It could be like of a video of you doing a treatment and you're talking about how it's going and what you're using. Um, start there, start in stories. That's why I said that, like, that's the best place to just get comfortable. Um, but you have, you have to be, you have to be somewhat present on the feed. I'm a huge advocate. Yep. Agreed. And just a couple of technical questions. Should we use the same font? Yes. Yep. I'm and a brand designer. So I'm saying this from the brand side. Use the same fonts because it builds um, recognizability along with using the same colors. Um, that is how you build a recognizable brand. If it's not your okay. face. <laughs> right. If it's not, your, yeah. If it's not your face, you got to do something else to help you. Exactly. Build Keep your brand. Together. Yep. Are hashtags really important or necessary? Any inv any advice on them in general? You go first, Morgan. So they're helpful because if you're looking for local people, people use Instagram in place of Google these days. And so, for example, let's say I'm going down to San Diego. I've never been to San Diego and I want to find some food to eat. I'm going to search San Diego food and it's going to show me the hashtags that have San Diego food. So it definitely helps with local people, but don't go adding a bunch of general ones like hashtag skincare because you're going to get lost in the billions of people. So the only hashtags that I say are necessary and I'm like, yes, please use them um, are local. So like hashtag your city skincare, hashtag your city facials, waxing, um, even just hashtag your town, hashtag local events that are near you. Those are the ones that I say, in my opinion, are like essential. We use three. We use it. You know, remember it was 30 and then it was 15. Yeah. yeah. It was to do yeah. This. And this is why when we get asked these rules, I just have no answer. Um, I'm not the Instagram God. I, I don't make them rules, but for us, like our hashtag is hashtag esthetician education, because that's literally what we're here for. And often I'll hashtag the brand, do all of that just to have it there. But my, for me, our hashtags are part of our caption. Like it's sort of summing up what we're talking about. Yep. Agreed. Okay. So do you need to, and you might have answered this, Morgan. So do you need to find and create a target audience before you post stuff that aren't related to your niche? Just have a general idea. So like we said, we don't have to get super technical like I did. I like to teach you how to get technical in case you want to. Um, but just have an idea of, like Shauna said, are you talking to estheticians who want education or are you talking to clients who want your services? As long as you know, oh, I'm talking to clients, you're mm -hmm. good to start making content. If you want to dive in deeper later, go ahead. Okay. Sandy wants to know if she has already signed up. <clears throat> She's the, one of the top three for that May 1st class. Sandy, you already won. You already get that extra bonus. Three yeah. people are already in there. So yeah. good work. Good work. And Morgan, that class is 50. How much is it? Dollars. Yeah. Dollars. Okay. That was a couple questions. Yep. And it's two hours long. And yet it's two hours long. Um, you can find more information on the marketing class on our website. Mm -hmm. Go to halenhush.com and um, trainings and events. It will be recorded. Mm -hmm. Okay, tip for a new SD who doesn't have any before or afters to post. Start taking them. <laughs> Get started. <laughs> Talk, talk about, talk about what you're going to do. Talk about what you're, you specialize in. Talk about the treatments. Um, treat your iPhone like a client, like just talk to it and explain it how you'd explain it to Sally that's coming in for the first time and try to make it pretty short, um, under a minute, like hit the bullet points, record a video and put it up. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. Oh, and make sure you get um, all of your consent forms if you guys aren't already having clients sign consent forms, please do, but also include a photo release in there. You have to have clients sign off that they, you can take and post their picture. So make sure to include that if you don't already have it. Um, and Stephanie, same for you. You're already signed up. You're good to go. Mm -hmm. Speaking of um, your photo release, I think a great easy one when you guys are getting started is just set up that phone and record an entire, pick your client that's your favorite. Maybe give her a free brow tint if she lets you record the whole thing and 
record it. And then you have what we call B-roll, right? So it's all this just random video happening in the background. And maybe one of them you film from the side and one you film from up, up above so you can see the facial uh, movements happening. And then clip that. You That 45 minute clip can be used 187 times when you clip it into 10 second segments and you do a quick voiceover talking about whatever's happening or summer's coming, let me clean out your pores. I mean, whatever the, the conversation is, but record the whole thing and then snip it and clip it and you will have content for months. Mm -hmm. True. It's actually easier than you think it is once you get on the right path. Right. 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 And, and they're follow, asking, follow mm -hmm. accounts and get inspiration. You guys, that's the name yeah. of the game. Like it, to me, it's not copying. It's not stealing. It's not plagiarism. I mean, unless you're taking content and putting your name on it, but right. get inspired by accounts. We follow a ton of SDs that like, oh, I'm like, that's genius. And we put a different spin on it in a different way. Or I follow a bunch of fashion people. And instead of talking about the jacket she's wearing, I relate it to skincare. So just get inspired by other accounts. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. You guys are, this is great today. Um, they're asking too, if you do have our Airtable link with um, the monthly, if you go into Airtable, there's three different tabs inside of it. There mm -hmm. are the free website photos and the logos. There's your free quarterly marketing photos. And then there is the monthly facial program. So all that is included in that link. Go ahead and start pushing the tabs and look at what you can find. Yeah. Um, I know it gets confusing to say it out loud all the time, but there's a lot of stuff in there. A ton. And there will be more. We're getting quarter two mm -hmm. ready to go. I'm adding sure. Easter pictures in today. Tons of stuff. Jenny, I thank you from the bottom of my heart that you came on here and did this for us. This was so fun. Like I could honestly sit here and talk with estheticians and about social media and about creating content all day. Like I'm like yeah. relaxed in my chair. Um, <laughs> well, um, thank you guys for having me. If you guys have questions, you can DM um, lip gloss and aftershave. Sometimes it gets pretty clouded in there. So you can absolutely um, send me one on my Instagram. It's just Jenny Nagel. Um, and I'm happy to help you guys because we we all have to start somewhere. Um, and I was there. So yeah. Morgan, can you please love put your email if you haven't already in the chat too? Because you know, if they email me, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'll just forward it to you. Yeah, if you email uh, Shauna about social media, you get sent my way. If you DM the Instagram with a skin question, I text Shauna. <laughs> because Teamwork Martin makes the dream work. <laughs> yep. What we continue to do. I really hope everyone learns a little something today. Um, there's other places. Please follow Lip Gloss and Aftershave. They have an app. They're online. They're everywhere you want to be. They're my favorite people in this industry. Um, so make sure you you get on there. I've learned so many things. And here's funny, Angel's on here. If there's one thing someone asks me, hey, do you know who does this? I'm all, ask Jenny Nagel, like that. <laughs> so they're an awesome resource. I use it all the time. I forget what Angel asked me the other day. And I text her, text me, go, go to lip gloss. Like, yeah, we get around. <laughs> yeah, we get around. Happy get to have it. So, Happy to um, it's it very well. informational. And Morgan, always such a pleasure working with you. She puts up with me, you guys. She deserves probably three times the amount of money she makes. <laughs> Thanks. I'm Thanks. the old fogey going, Facebook's not an app. <laughs> I but know. That was to me today. Shauna calls me a million times. I have a really stupid question. I'm like, I'm ready. What is it? And it's always something about how do I get this onto this? I'm like, I got you. <laughs> I got you. It's bad. Ooh. I'm bad, Jenny. I'm old. Shauna, I'm right behind you, girlfriend. To learn Airtable. I mean, <laughs> you should ask Guy and Perina. I had to call Perina all the time. She was ready to kill me, I think. <laughs> Teamwork, I'm telling you, it takes a village. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick picture so I can put this on our story. Oh, let us smile. Thank you. Thank you, Thank ladies. you guys so much. Everyone, thanks for coming. Don't forget to sign up for April's webinar. It is Holistic Tools with uh, Zen Miller. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a good one, too. She's going to go over the mushrooms and how to use those in your treatment room. And what's May? Niche services, maybe, or exfoliants? Um, exfoliants. Yes. With Angela Green. Our Gold webinars State. are on our training page. 
So you can go, I think through June or July, we need to get the rest up, but you can go onto our training page. You'll see my May class. You'll see our other new marketing class um, with Davion. You'll also see um, all of our webinars you can register for. So go to the training page. We have a lot of stuff on there. Follow Lip Gloss and Aftershave. You can follow me if you guys want to DM me with any questions. Um, Bloom Social Studio and yeah, yeah. And hi, Linda Motto. I miss you, lady. Um, yeah, you can follow me too, but it's just Morgan's work. <laughs> From years ago. Don't, that's my old work. We stopped posting. Shauna fired me to send me to Hale and Hush. I did not fire you. I, I had to give you up for my boss. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys yeah. so much for joining us. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, all the prize I... winners, email me. All the yeah. prize winners. You guys were all on here. All right, we'll see you guys all on social. Thank you, Jenny. See you in a couple days. I can't wait, Shauna. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.